would you describe the way a banjo sounded uh, to somebody who never heard a banjo? <laughs> well, sir, <coughs> this is when I was growing up. You know, uh, Daddy had made that banjo, and growing up, I just listened to the sound of that banjo. First one, another bringing banjo in, and hear the sound of them, and just grow up to it. And uh, this is what I said, I'd go to, trying to hum the song like he sang it, like he played on the banjo. And then the next thing, well, I, I learned that little song. Just from a little song, just kept catching on a little song right on up, up and up. Nobody asked me who did I learn to play banjo by, who learned me. I just taught it all by myself, learned to play by myself. Yeah? What, what Andy was saying there a while ago about the, uh, I call it the mournful mountain sound of the banjo or the field one. The sound you get from it. And, uh, why is that? You know, why, is it, why does it sound so mournful and so lonely? I don't know, sir, and I, it does, uh, to me, it does, and I don't know why it is. Not many people can capture that sound. No, that sir. Sound. Very few do. Now, the only way I know how to play John Henry is the way I play it right there. Did I play you that old time song? Uh, uh, can't think of it now, I don't think. Evie Davis' song. Did I play that for you when you was down here? Before? Okay. Now tell us who Evie Davis was. She was a woman, and she was a banger player, buddy. And I don't know where she was from. I had her record here, and the young ones, they all got into them one day and broke the record to them. And she was a real player, player Evie Davis was. And she had a real voice to sing. Did she play the two-finger style? Yeah, just like I'm playing right there. She did that song. Then John Hardy, she played it a claw hammer style. John Hardy. How do you play it? Uh, uh, two fingers. Let's see. Yeah. Let's hear it. 